Hi there, I'm the Lady of Nemesis and welcome to the final part of Mask of the Betrayer. The final battle is upon us, a crusade against the city of the dead and the god of death Callum for himself. With the aid of our allies we will tear down the wall of the faithless or die trying. And maybe, just maybe, we might be able to end the curse over us and grant peace to Akachi and other soul eaters of the past. This place, I remember it. It is where you encountered that black-hearted ranger from your past adventures. Your soul is in that wall, where the Founder once was. Where I once was, before Akachi freed us. Kaelin the Dove, leader of the Second Crusade, and formerly one of my Doom Guides returned. You are not welcome here, and your grandfather cannot intervene to save you a second time. Your presence is a reminder that I should not have been merciful. Has anything you have done in your reign been merciful, my lord? I think that is the question you should ask. Pride is not a shield from me, Kaelin. Do not test my will in this. And you, Spirit Eater, you have brought strife to my gates, ignored every warning, allied yourself to a cause whose consequences were plain before your eyes. Do you understand what you risk? Bring down the wall, and mortals will see that they cannot be held to account for their faith. On that day, mortals will put faith aside, and the gods will bring vengeance upon them all. As the heir of Akachi, you had the chance to set things right to show the Plains that some justice, however cruel it may seem, is necessary to prevent the greater evil. The Founder believed the same, and allowed Merkel to delude her. She wanted too much to believe that the curse could be ended and her lover restored. No, Spirit Eater. Tearing your soul from the wall will not be enough. Merkel's cruelties are not so easily undone. Akachi's hunger was born of loss, the loss of memory, soul, and self. He can only be freed from his hunger if he remembers who and what he is. Take back what is yours from the wall, and then return to Akachi what is his. All that you need, you have already found in dreams. Akachi's essence was scattered, not destroyed. If he had been utterly lost, nothing would remain to hunger. Merkel was so enamored of his own cruelty that he couldn't see its flaws. Free your soul, bring the fragments together, and Akachi's hunger will end. Know this, Spirit Eater. I will not stand in your way now, but my memory is long and all must come before me in the end. On that day, the debts of your crusade will come due. The wall cannot persist, and even should we fail, the acts done here will serve as a beacon to others. And I warn you, the wall does not willingly part with its treasures, even if they are wrongfully won. Is that your soul? There in the wall.
Yes. Mentosus for a move. Mang noon ra ra matir. Oh,
protected. Enough! I can carry no more! I Hold shut up! Hey, 
John Queen.
Radio Novo. This oh. Enough! I can carry no more!
Enough! I can carry no more! The curse is finished. The betrayer's suffering has come to an end. You have restored his soul, done what gods thought beyond their power. Akachi has gone to his judgment, to the fate that should have been his had Merkel not intervened. Not to lie within the wall, but to find rest amongst the false souls of old. His torment is ended, and as for Merkel, the dark god's soul will fade and pass into oblivion as he deserves. She knew from the beginning that her lover was lost to her, even if she saved him. Where Akachi has gone, the Founder cannot follow. Upon her death, the Founder's soul will pass to Sophia, as will her knowledge. Through the innocence of her daughter's soul, she will find redemption, though the woman she once was will cease to be. Her tale is nearly finished, but yours is not. The chaos you sowed in my city will win you few friends amongst the gods. Deities of order will cast their eyes upon you as a symbol of all they oppose. For my part, I will pass no judgment upon you. I see in your crusade the hand of a dead god and the desperation of a forsaken soul trying to save the one she loved. And the good you have done redeems much. Above all else, your struggle has won you freedom from the shard in your chest and from the ravening presence in your soul. How you spend your newfound coin, and whom you spend it with, that is yours to decide. Now that Akachi is at peace, I feel free of this obligation, this voice inside me driving me to complete the Founder's work. For the first time, my life feels like it's my own. It's not yet time to return to the Academy. I've grown far too fond of traveling with you, and we have countless journeys ahead of us. I am... Um overcome with a certain melancholy. I am uncertain of its origins. My love, I am saddened because I am not certain what journey we can undertake now that can surpass the one we have just traveled. You have met my mother in a sunken city beneath the waves, walked the plain of shadows, danced in dreams. Oh, and we have gone to the realm of the dead and back. Wherever can a poor hag spawn take you to impress you after such things? I shall, or better yet, dream of something. 
Let us wait until sleep claims us, and I shall escort you there. We have done more than I dared hope. You have reversed the act of a god. The crusade, your crusade, is a great victory. It may seem a symbol, but symbols. Like Akachi in the First Crusade, such symbols lend strength to others. It has given me strength. You have shown me, beyond a shadow of doubt, that this wall can be ended, removed from the plains, and I shall live to see it fall. I was right to place my trust in you. By your will, my oath is fulfilled, and you are whole again. You have reminded me what it's like to be alive, to struggle, and feel the call of wanderlust. Where are we headed next, little one? My realm lies at the center of all things. You cannot remain here, but infinite doors are open to you. Return to the Prime if you like, or set your eyes towards some other plane. Wherever you go, mortal, may your road be one of your own choosing. And so, you turned your back on my grey city, and chose a path that led you far from my realm. In the long years that followed, you walked many roads, across many plains, and I do not know them all. For some worlds beyond the realms are closed, even to my eyes. But your name emerged time and again in the tales of valor that swirled in your wake. With Akachi's end, the Founder surrendered to death, and her soul passed to Sophia. With it came the knowledge of a dozen lifetimes, and the collected wisdom of all her fragments. In the tales of your journeys, Sophia had parts yet to play. The able counselor, the devoted ally, before returning at last to the academy that she had loved, only to find it in the hands of rival wizards. Sophia rallied those who had been loyal to her mother, and many yet remained. With the magic of the Founder at her call, she drove her rivals from the Academy and took her mother's place as headmistress. The Academy of Shapers and Binders remains an anomaly amongst the Red Wizards, a school where magic is studied for its own sake, where those who plot against their fellow wizards are cast out, and slavery has no place. It is a quiet but increasingly powerful force for change in the nation of Thay. Gan of Dreams remained at your side, his name linked forever with your own. Within the realm of dreams and without, you were rarely apart, and Gan's love remained true, a fact that might have surprised him before you first met. Gan had made his peace with his parents and his past, and though he never pledged himself to the gods, he found another sort of faith, not in religion and ritual, but in love, friendship, and trust. Kaelin the Dove left your company, intent upon continuing her crusade against the Wall. She rallied those who had survived your assault upon the City of Judgment and led them to the Plain of Shadow, where she sought still more allies for a new and greater war. Yet even with the success of your crusade, Kaelin never grew into the leader that Akachi, or you, had been. Perhaps it was her unyielding sense of purpose, or her brazen defiance of the gods, that drove her followers away. Still, Kaelin and her siblings did not abandon the cause. They staged assaults upon my city, tearing a few souls from the wall at a time, and escaping before my followers could pursue. To this day, she persists, defying the gods and the plains, and though it is said that her wings have grown dark with the passing of years, she remains a beacon of hope for those bound in the wall, her name whispered as a prayer by those who knew no faith in life. Oku, god of beasts, followed you for a time, but the doom of his race weighed heavily upon him. He finally begged your leave to return to Rashomon, and you gave it. You never saw him again, though the Rashemi believe that he slumbers peacefully in his barrow. And years later, when a host of Thaeans crossed the river Mulsantir to invade southern Rashomon, it is said that a great bear spirit led an army of beasts against them. The invading Thaeans were crushed, and not a drop of Rashemi blood was spilled. As for the bear, he vanished soon after, leaving no proof of his passage, save for the ravaged corpses of gnolls and red wizards. 
And what of your fate? In time, you returned home to West Harbor, reunited with a foster father who had never abandoned his search for you, and in that time, had come to fully realize the love he bore you. It was there, upon the village green where your adventures began, that you and Gan were married, in the presence of those old friends who yet lived. Kelgar Ironfist, Nishka the Rogue, Bevel Starling, these and many others stood in respectful silence as you spoke the words that would join the two of you together. Whether you would settle in the place of your birth, or depart once again to seek a greater legacy still, that story is yet to be told. <laughs>